<laughs> it's time now for our rants and raves, okay. starting with Dan. I have a rave for uh, ABC News and for the power of simply asking a question. Uh, at the beginning of Thursday night's uh, town hall on race with President Obama, David Muir said, I'd like to address the matter of how this particular forum came to be seen on ABC. He said, we asked. We asked the White House if they'd like to do it, and they said they would. So, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it, it was the sort of thing that I would think any network would like to get, and good for ABC for thinking of, let's just call up and ask and see if they'd like to do it. Hmm. Yeah, that is good. They, they often take turns, though, you know, giving people shots at things. Who's next? <laughs> Kelly. Um, I, we've talked about this a little bit, about the blurring of the lines between um, on-set commentators and the news and their active participation in it. So just recently, too bad for him he didn't get it, Sean Hannity used his oh, private yeah. plane oh. to fly Newt Gingrich in to see Donald Trump, to give him a big boost, um, hopefully to get the VP post. So my thing is, this, here's Sean Hannity, who's sitting on a set, and yes, he says, I'm not a journalist, that is correct, but this is, come on, you know, you, you are dealing with news content, and you're in the middle of it, and I think that's just wrong. In the same way that we discussed Reverend Al Sharpton, who sits on the set with, with uh, Joe Scarborough and discusses going down to Louisiana, in this case, as an activist, and then sits on his show and analyzes it. I mean, at some point, we need to just, it, it needs to be more apparent to people about how embedded some so folks wait, are. Sean Hannity did it himself, not yes. Fox News? No, yes. Sean Hannity. Yes. Sean Hannity. He's, He's got his own jet. Well, oh, you missed the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. No, <laughs> the point was that he flew Newt Gingrich. No, I know, I know that. I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm pressing that. I know, I know, I know you're all, all on the jet. <laughs> I'm going, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't I have a chance? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> My, I try, I, people. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I have a rant. I mean, every time there's a big story out there, a controversial story, there are always people who get in front of the cameras or, you know, put out some video on YouTube where they're accusing the mainstream media of not telling you something. Here is the big yeah, yeah. secret that the mainstream media won't tell you. Um, here is what the mainstream media is hiding from you. As if there's this grand conspiracy that you learn it in journalism school where it's not about getting information out there and you know out of the darkness and into the light, but to see what you can bury and keep away from the public. It is annoying and it simply doesn't happen. But that's are there a, bad that's... are there bad reporters out there? Are there reporters that sometimes miss things? Yes. Is there this big grand conspiracy? for reporters to hide things from the public, I, got a call. I would say no. I got a call from a woman a few months back who, who said, she was reading from a script, I could tell, and she said, I want to know why you haven't covered Bernie Sanders' presidential campaign, and I think it's really shameful that NPR, she said NPR, I work for GBH, an affiliate, <laughs> and I had to cut her off and say, ma'am, have you done any research? Do you know that I've covered him X number of times? You know, I covered him here and there and there. She said, well, I wasn't aware of that. I said, well, you know, before you make this call, please right. check but, but that's a trope used frequently by, you know, Sean Hannity. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Bill O'Reilly, yeah. they, they do that every time. It's, it's just, it, it's, it's my rant. It, it's annoying. And you hear it all the time. Here's what the medical community will tell you. But it's, it's the same thing about reporters, you know. Yeah, you know, I hide things all the time because I don't want, it. what's it going to do for me? Like hiding stories? Come on, I want to break the stories. All right, Adam. <laughs> All right, I want to rant about a piece that ran in the Boston Globe called It's Time to Reinvent the Suburban Mom Uniform. Oh, yeah. It was written by a woman named Patricia Marks Martinovich. Uh, I want to be gentle here because I don't believe she's a professional journalist, judging from the piece. But the gist was <laughs> that suburban moms uh, dress like slobs, take terrible care of themselves, should be embarrassed at the way they're going out in public, and need to get themselves uh, into shape, sartorially need speaking. Wow. Now, I'm sensitive here because I am a suburban dad, a dumpy one at that, married to a suburban mom who's not dumpy, but, but the, uh, this piece was written by a woman from, from the research I've yes. done. She, seen, she lives in Dover, so she's probably pretty affluent, seems to have assets most people don't have, a lot more time on her hands than most people have, and an inordinate interest in telling the rest of us how we ought to live. I think the Globe did her a disservice by allowing this to go into print with her name attached. Plus it's what? arrogant, wow. totally. bogus, and you know, some people are slobs, some people aren't, some people are, yeah. you know, it's like... The comments are terrific. It's not, it's not suburban. It's not, yeah. it isn't, it doesn't have, you know, it, it's always, yeah, they blame the suburbanites, you right. know, right, right. like the urban moms are so, so no, much this, classier. Well, well this, is, this is a very, it's worth reading the piece and make sure to read the comments because a lot of people felt like I did and a lot more upsetting. Well, my dad always wanted me to wear a belt when I went outside. I had to be neat. 
So it's not just about moms. My oh, dad, man. Always want to be that. Want you, you have, your shirt has to be nice and pressed. All right. I, I didn't do a rant this week. Got busy. <laughs> trying to figure out calories. That's it for our show. Tell us what you think. Email us, tweet us, or leave a comment. We're always on at beatthepress.org.